In my atelier, so I'm Alice Rio de Rey, I'm the founder of De May Paris, because I was born on uh, May 2. <laughs> Happy yeah. belated birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much. So it's a fashion brand for women and men. Uh, everything is made in France. Uh, I'm working with a seamstress and she's doing um, all the production with me. And I'm working mostly with uh, upcycling, uh, upcycled fabrics. So uh, for example, the first piece that uh, released the brand was made with um, uh, vintage tapestry, uh, tapestry exactly. Uh, the pieces are made with uh, vintage blankets that were like wool uh, that you used to find on your grandma's bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, all my kimonos are made with uh, um, scarf silks. That are, so I'm mostly doing uh, one of a kind pieces or small series. The costume that was released this February um was made with dead stock that i found and every time i design a, a new drop a new collection the idea is uh, that everything is mixed and the same thing exists in different fabrics so it's the same but never the same at the same time mm -hmm. and sorry. everyone can find uh, it's the main piece and the new drop that is coming uh, because i'm doing a, a pop-up next week and i've been working with embroideries so it's the same idea that like a vintage embroideries from countries from all over the world and each uh, shirt uh, when you say vintage embroideries from all over the world it's if you find the piece that has the embroidery i found the uh, embroideries like uh, small pieces of embroidery mm -hmm. that that was used in in houses like uh, that was not supposed to be um, so you applique or yeah the 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 shirt is i designed the shirt mm -hmm. and uh, on each shirt the way that the embroidery is used is different it's coming on the sleeves as well and so the idea is that it's always the same shirt but never the same the placements are never the same and each embroidery is coming from uh, another traditional back background and um and so it's uh, for women and, and men again and uh, and this time is a uh, uh, one size only and it fits differently on different bodies that is something that i think is really really cool to see how it falls on different people yes, you can, so <laughs> for instance this one this is great um i'm still trying to figure out how you do it yeah you so I so you make the shirt and then how do you apply the embroidery because the embroidery has already been done or? yeah so here it was easy because it's it was a big piece of embroidery i think it was a curtain or something like mm -hmm. that so this was easy because i could just cut the whole front and nothing else nothing else to do but here for example i had to do the placement for each shirt um, to use it as a plastron and to use a part of the embroidery as a part of the sleeve. Okay. And so my seamstress was working around the placement that I made and I, I explained to her how I wanted to look. And then together, like we, we decided that it, it can be incrusté, mm -hmm. like incrusted, or sometimes we have some where um, it's appliqué on top. So they are unique pieces? All, all, yeah, all, one all, of a kind pieces yes. only. So this, um, like the, the, pieces, <coughs> the pieces with blankets and the kimonos are really one of a kind pieces because I'm really working on the placements one by one. So this is really the heart of the brand and what I like to do the most with like reinventing vintage textiles. And then some of the parts of the collection are more small series that I can repeat. Mm -hmm. Since when you're here? I'm sorry? Since when you're here? Okay. In the incubator? Yeah. Uh, since September, this September. Ah, this September. And how is the experience? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love being here because we, because of the group, because we are sharing so much with the other creative people. Like we, It's really nice to share experiences and help each other out. And it's very inspiring because as a designer, we can feel a bit lonely <laughs> sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I used to work from my place. So this has been like a big explosion of inspiration for me. So I'm super happy. What are these pieces at the end? Are they jerseys? Uh, yeah, they're jerseys. It's an, um, another collection that I made. They're uh, t-shirts and joggings. And it's the same, same ideas. You have it in like different associations. So 
so it, in different sizes so it's that's for men very and... nice for the olympic games exactly mm -hmm. <laughs> right <Very nice. laughs> and um so i'm also very inspired by the you know sportswear details that that like that comes from sportswear but still that you can wear it and it's chic but this is like yeah more more of a, sp a sportswear inspiration and more casual look and this is a big success for the brand actually that's great yeah i had a feeling <laughs> thank you so how do people find you so um, my the name of the brand is De Mai Paris in French. <laughs> uh, the Instagram it's uh, at De Mai uh, dot Paris, and the website is De Mai Paris point com, De Mai Paris dot com. <laughs> and then you can buy it there. You and yeah, it's a e shop e commerce, and so everything is uh, online. And if people live in Paris, they can come and visit me here in my atelier. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. How long have you been there? Uh, since September this year. 